Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day. And, um, dude, you can't be over there laughing while I'm doing this. No, shut the door. I can't do it while you're sitting there watching me. All right, good. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day. And, Bluegrass is pretty dang blue, ain't it? Hey, huh? Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I do hope you're having a great day. And I can't make this video with my wife watching because she's laughing at me and I can't keep a straight face. So, thank you for watching. Uh, typically, you see us doing yard videos and that kind of thing and grass and what to do and what not to do and mowing and fertilizing and all that kind of thing. Well, I also have a pretty strong passion for gardening. I love my garden. I've got about 2,000 square foot right here and we'll grow this thing this summer and then we'll take some of the food and we'll eat it and we'll store it for the winter. We'll give it to neighbors. We'll take it to church. I'll give it to employees, all kind of things. Because man, this thing is really going to put out in a serious kind of way. Now my secret, is it higher bricks now I, I started using higher bricks actually going after a natural organic fertilizer and that's how i came across them seven or eight years ago and then i kind of went into the lawn fertilizer and pasture fertilizer and got hooked on it and that's kind of why my yard looks like it does but we're talking about the veggie fertilizer today this right here is their vegetable uh, all natural and organic now, uh, the, the cool thing about this is I'm going to apply it one time when I plant this, and I'm not going to apply it anymore the rest of the year. It's a very, very easy fertilizer to use. Anybody in the world can use it. Uh, if you're growing it in a bucket, in a container, on a patio, beside your house, in, in one of your natural areas, uh, in a garden like this, wherever, raised bed, it doesn't matter. Uh, this fertilizer will feed this plant right here and give it everything it needs for the entire season. Now what I've got right here, I've got some cucumber, I got some yellow straight neck squash, and I got some zucchini squash right here. And I've, you can see I've already planted them down the row. My spacing's about three foot apart or so. These things are gonna get pretty good size. And I'm gonna show you, I'm, I'm right here on my last one. And I'm gonna show you how I plant this. Now this bed had been tilled a little over a month or so ago, so it's rained a little bit and the sun has come back out. It's kind of created a crust right here, okay? So I want to break that crust up so that my water can penetrate. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take two fingers. I'm going to pull that back, stick it in my hole, put a little dirt around it like that. I'm just going to take my hand or if you got a little small hand shovel or whatever, and just kind of break this ground up a little bit like so kind of slick it back down seashells wonder why seashells are out here in the middle of north carolina i'm going to take one cup of my higher bricks vegetable like so Kind of take that, work that in the ground a little bit. Nothing major, nothing fancy. This is a pretty simple way of doing things. And as you know, most all plants in the world require some water. So I'm gonna water it in real good. Of course, I've got me a pretty nice uh, irrigation system out here. So I can keep this stuff watered throughout the year. Now also, while I got you, I wanna show you a little bit more of an advanced somewhat uh, not really advanced I guess it's, it's pretty easy to do it but uh, something to kind of go above and beyond 
and somewhat put your plants on steroids. Now this is a natural adjuvant, O2 natural adjuvant. And this one's empty because I've used it all. I've got to get some more. But what I've got right here is a bucket full of a 2% solution. Meaning for about every gallon of water, I've got about two ounces of this product in the water. Now you do have to adjust the pH of the water to a five or slightly below to kind of activate the product. That'll help the chitosan in here to stay in solution. Now, what makes this a pretty unique product is the yucca that's in the adjuvant is gonna help the chitosan to adhere to the root system, to the leaves, to the stem, to anything it touches on this plant. Now, the chitosan has a real unique ability too. Plants in general have the ability to uh, go into self-defense mode, meaning disease pressure, insect pressure, drought stress, all that kind of thing, the plant will go into a self-defense mechanism and kind of beef up or get strong and defend or push back against those things that are trying to take it out. Well, the chitosan in here has a real cool ability to enhance that feature of the plant. So that's what makes this so cool when you come into drought stress in your turf or disease in your turf or, or bugs on your plants or, or anything like that. Uh, the natural adjuvant really steps up the game on that. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can take the plant and dunk it in the water, which I've got a few videos of doing tomatoes and uh, uh, peppers doing that. I'm going to show you a slightly different way this time. Now, I've got my bucket of finished solution, my water, and my adjuvant. And I'm basically going to pour it in my watering can. And I'll just go around and water my plants with it. Well, there you go. I'm telling you... Uh, this really, I've tried all kinds of different ways of growing a garden. I've tried all the fertilizers and all the soil amendments and this, that, and the other, and everything you can think of. And out of all my experiences of doing it, uh, the higher bricks is by far the absolute easiest way to do it, simply because I feed the plant one time. All I've got to do is keep it watered the rest of the year and pick the fruit off of it. I mean, it's, it's really that easy. Of course, you know I'm a big fan of the natural adjuvant. I've been using it on my turf forever. I've uh, been using it in my garden several years now. I kind of played around with this, how to do it, and I've seen a noticeable difference in how my, my, my veggies and, and my turf reacts to drought, stress conditions, disease conditions, all that kind of thing. It's just a, it's a real good way to put your plant on a steroid uh, for lack of better words. So hey, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, tell all your buddies, and uh, check us out. We do lots of yard videos, and of course, I'm gonna show you the garden, the whole process throughout the entire year. Uh, when everything's ready to pick, we'll come out here and pick everything, and we'll show you what we get off of it. And now this stuff I showed you, I got links in the description. I got a coupon code uh, for the higher bricks. Uh, check out the, the O2 uh, in the description as well. And um, I got, I mean, I'm pretty much done with my garden. Got my zucchini, my peppers, my tomatoes are over there. Now I'm waiting on my corn. The ground temperature ain't quite warm enough to plant my corn, but when it gets there, I'll show you how I do that too. So, hey, thank you for watching. I'll check you later.